<laughs> Only in glitch categories, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I want to root for ACM just to just to root for game three, but Chris did choose the Scudge file name, so um, <laughs> <laughs> might have to show a little favoritism. There. Oh, bombs and the <laughs> first okay. chance. Bombs do have some significance when they come early in the game. Would you like to explain wow. why? They get to access a bonus room towards the end of the sewers. It has three chests. So, legit pendants where they're supposed yeah. to be, Vanilla? color-wise. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, here, is, here is the red pendant. So nice. This is actually kind of interesting. Um, a lot of players will avoid pendant dungeons as long as they can. Um, ACM, however, if Pendant Dungeons are in the light world, he actually likes going into them pretty early, uh, generally. Obviously, it depends on what other items you have and what else you have access to, but if he's in the neighborhood of one of them, he may even go to Eastern without the bow or Hera without a fire source um, because he really likes to uh, to get those out of the way. It's hard to make predictions about what Chris will do or what he likes to do just because he does such... He just likes doing different things every time he plays, just to switch it up, just to keep it fresh and keep us on our toes. Yeah. Yeah, these two players actually probably couldn't be more different in their play style, which is important in Randomizer because it's just so so open and unsolved that your play style really matters a lot. Right. So <clears throat> ACM has a very steady, consistent approach. Yeah, he just seems to... I mean, I mean, obviously the items do affect where you go, but I think he has a more defined uh, a route yeah. that he does, at least in the early game, uh, even independent of what items he gets. Chris he also... really likes to take gambles and risks, so. And that really did help him out in the last one in game yeah. one. For he sure. basically said, ACM's gonna probably do this, so I'm gonna do the opposite thing because I think I'm behind. Hope I get lucky, and sure enough, it paid off. ACM likes to unnecessarily gamble, I think, <laughs> as well. <laughs> he'll he'll leave that last one chest in a dungeon behind. Yes. And just kind of leave and forget about it. It's rare Where? that that'll hurt you, but sometimes it does. We've seen it happen. Yeah. And it usually happens to ACM. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Chris being more of a completionist. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, leads to leads to slightly longer times, but also leads to less like getting screwed over by silly decisions. Right. Pretty good escape so far, I guess. Yeah. You escape, you know, what do you do? <laughs> Bombs in the first chest pretty much makes it so you don't have to kill any enemies on your way. Yep. Obviously, other things they'll be looking out for in escape are any major item, but also rupees and even more bombs would be nice to get at this point. It's going to be interesting to see how they approach the Light World dungeons, being that they're all pendants. Yeah. It's definitely an unusual situation to be in. It's actually very uncommon for all three to be pendants. For them all to be vanilla has to be very, very yeah. Uh, unlikely. Yeah. We'll be going in the sewers here, and we'll be able to see what the what the three chests have at the end, since they both have bombs. Yeah. Normally, this room has good stuff, since it's three chests early on. Yeah, getting bombs in escape is pretty common, but it does technically constitute a sequence break because the glove is a prerequisite for these items, which is important because if you don't get bombs here, then the only way to get back to them would be with the gloves. And if it's not marked as a prerequisite, then you'd be locked out forever. 
Or you'd have to use an out of bounds glitch to get in, but we're not going to see any of that in this race, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ooh, Chris got another bomb drop and some money. Yeah. That'll be all the bombs he probably will need. Another bomb drop, wow. More bombs in this room. So they should be both be pretty good on bombs. Chris have I'll have to take yet? <laughs> I'm not, I don't think so actually. Uh oh. He's We're gonna, he's find gonna open soon. tank chest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can save a couple seconds here skipping this chest, but... Yeah, it takes, uh... I think it's about three seconds in a normal NMG run, but I think there's a text box in the heart that yeah, will not yeah. be here, so it's... Be a oh, it's not, the, They have. Ah, it wasn't. <laughs> Good thing we're not playing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so one uh, difference here is probably going to be ACM will not check the Lumberjack. Yeah. Item. He does not like to do that early. Yeah. Chris does like to do it early. So You know, Chris kinda went back and forth on it. For a for a short period of time he was uh saying that he didn't like doing it, but I think then he went yeah. back to it. I'm a I'm an advocate of the check lumberjack cave early route. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> I, don't I, think much, I don't do I think... much with seeds, so I don't really have uh, any. Yeah. Glitch yeah. I do it pretty late, but I also do like Kakariko Town pretty late. Yeah, I think ACM is one of the few who's, who sticks by it. Yeah, depending on how the items land, uh, may or may not be uh, a penalty for it. Maybe a very convenient time to do it later. And ACM has definitely gotten burned by it multiple times with yeah. like Mir <laughs> there and him not knowing till an hour into the seed. As long as, like, skipping it's fine as long as you remember to go back there at some point. It's easy to forget, though, if you get your mind on other things. Oh, yeah. There's about uh, 35 chests in Kakariko Town that they're going to have to check. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's like. Thir 12 or 13 locations if they have a bottom. Yeah. And then two more to check just <laughs> south. That's right. So we get the tempered sword and the bottle. And the bottle. Bottle is nice. There's one location in Kakariko Town that has the bottle as a prerequisite to access it. So they will at least not have to make a return trip for that alone later. Ideally, you get a bottle and the flute here so that you only have to make one item trip. Yeah. But it doesn't happen too often, unfortunately. Right, and the only other thing that could, uh, well, the boots would be another prerequisite for one of the items south of town. And they'd be able to get all of this stuff at once. And that is, of another course, the problem. race game that requires the boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle and silver is in the well. Not too shabby. Oh. And a mirror shield. Yeah, they're, uh,. Already pretty well equipped, as tends to happen. Yeah, in V18, especially even with the, where there's no progressive logic on the swords and shields. Yeah. Let's right, see the quality of the chicken clips. Oh, that was a partial clip. <laughs> a lot of hearts, too. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty healthy. The malaria kid holding <laughs> on to nothing. Taking away his life savings. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just his allowance. Ooh, Chris with a slightly less, uh, slightly lower quality chicken clip. I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's foreshadowing. <laughs> He picked, uh, he picked the Scudge file name in the one place you clip in this random <laughs> <item>. <laughs> I 
So nothing but a heart on the library shelf. That's right. The library and the race game items are both ones that you can check before acquiring them. Although without the boots, you can only get uh, one of them. 100 rupees there. Would you guys uh, consider getting those if you're pretty low on rupees at this point? Uh, Probably not. If it was 300, I right. probably would. And yeah. if you flip uh, up there, would you uh, would it change your mind? <laughs> <laughs> probably, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is there a way to clip to that item from below it? In the dark world, yeah, and then you can mirror to it. Okay. Usually I do uh, Kegger, go north to south and then do the, the clip where you jump to it. The little parkour. <laughs> Nothing going on in the dam, really. Just more money. And more bombs. I guess I'm gonna grab the 20. He Sim is apparently ahead, but he has less intel, of course. So we'll see uh, following the same route for just a little while longer, probably. Wouldn't be surprised, uh, depending on what we find here, it may continue to follow the same route. If nothing important is here, I mean, Sahasra is the next logical choice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much regardless oh, of... Oh, wow. Oh. Sahajula is a logical choice now, if you want to check Eastern, which ACM might and Chris might not, but the flute also gives him access to Death Mountain. I don't know. I mean, the <laughs> Eastern Eastern being a relatively quick dungeon, along with them having silvers and it being the green pendant, Yeah, I could see Chris doing it just because of also, and Sahajula is right there. Yeah, yeah, it also bit him in the last race not to do it early, so you may be remembering that. CACM's swimming technique. <laughs> swim pumps. <laughs> when asked not... about that, his response is, I think it saves time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got yes. the particular pumping he did to save me 13 frames once. Oh, wow. <laughs> In my about 10 minutes of messing around. <laughs> He actually controls it pretty well, though, so... Yeah. Oh, wow. Early Moon Pro there. And nice that little is... sequence break. Yep. Yeah. They're both going to do it, though. Immediately going to activate that flute. Oh, and first time checking the map for ACM as well. <laughs> Had to double check. Is that really vanilla? <laughs> The powder on the island is also an interesting item. Whenever you have a, a fetch quest type item, B and D like that, it can be, it can cause trouble because they're easy to forget about. Oh yeah, yeah. And can lead to something important. Mm -hmm. So, like, be like seeing medallions or the mushroom in lumberjack cave or something like that. And oh you're like, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> or powder on I the hate not knowing. <laughs> Shovel with the pedestal or something, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> that was just like powder at pedestal in that one race <laughs> that I did. That was a good one. It's like Chris is making his way to the Eastern Palace area first in this one. Wow, so they're doing the opposite of what we thought. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think Chris might have it in his mind that this is what ACM is going to do, and he doesn't want to mm -hmm. get bitten by it like he did the uh, last oh, race. Not the dungeon. Oh, okay. I'm opting to do Eastern. Hmm. Okay, he'll probably go up the mountain next. I mean, what else? well, he hasn't activated the flu. He'll probably do that. And then go up the mountain. At the moment, they only can get the old main item and see what's on Spectacle Rock and get what's inside Spectacle Rock. There's the flippers. Okay. 
I will have too much of a sequence break. <laughs> yeah, that would get them access to the pearl. Um, that also does officially give them access to Zora's domain and the Zora ledge item. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Did you guys know that Zelda is actually a Toho game? <laughs> <laughs> I know now. Wow. Well, he's alive, so that's good. <laughs> It's like somebody dropped their wallet on Spectacle Rock. <laughs> and a little cash on the inside. AC, I'm probably going to flip to five here, I would assume. Yeah. I'm going to once again predict that he will do the dungeon. I'm going to keep saying that until he either proves me right or wrong. leaving that 20 behind and then be like, nah, I should probably get that. <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't find something else good soon, he's really going to be running out of options other than Zora's Domain. He's probably thinking about that. Yeah. He's going to do the dungeon first to get the green pendant so that he can uh, do everything in Sahasrila's house at once. is isn't a terrible decision considering there isn't, really isn't anything there. Nothing that could really help him in Eastern. I mean, boots or something that could let him complete it faster, but then having to go back to Sahasrila afterwards would practically negate the time save if he did find boots there. Yeah. And it was, what, like 40 rupees in a heart piece or something like that? Yeah, nothing too great. So I'd hate to see Chris find nothing here and then have to go back to Eastern. So he might... Uh... Do something might, else. There are a few. Might flip to six. Yeah, yeah. you can get a look at the desert ledge. The desert ledge and and our good boy Agna. Yeah, desert stuff. I mean, Aghanim's an option. It's not the most appealing option when you have other ones, but. He also doesn't have gloves, so he's gonna have to actually walk all the way around again. <laughs> Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. We'll also see these runners should probably visit the Rupee Room. In Eastern? Yeah. Yeah, we don't see that very often. I think uh, Chris's stream's having a little technical issue here, but it does look like he's going to Eastern Palace, and we're seeing ACM there, so there won't be too many surprises uh, when he does come back online. Yeah. Too much mystery. Must have spilled tea on his router. <laughs> <laughs> PG tips, English tea. Yeah. <laughs> There's already almost 4,000 people here to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't know that. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that cute little shield. The downgrade shield. Yeah. So th this is this is one of those gambles. Yeah, they see yeah, that, uh, they're, they're that they're ACM is known yeah. for. Uh, rather than spending the you know like minute that it takes to get the last chest, uh, he's gambling on the 50-50 that Ar Argus Armos <laughs> is going to have the last dungeon item, uh, so that he doesn't have to. You know, it would have been a, a waste of time to go around the eastern loop. Yeah, and if uh, Armos does not have the last item, he probably will not come back in here. At least not until he's desperate. Right. So it's, it's like saving a minute for losing probably like two and a half. <laughs> yeah, potentially. And even more if he happens to be searching a ton of overworld locations. Yeah. ACM also didn't visit the Rupee Room, which... Yeah. It's a decision. Let's see if I don't know Chris that I remembers to do that or not. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Xavier makes the same gamble. Oh, and that's the item. Okay, so yeah. it'll work out for him this time. He did make the gamble yesterday in the race with ACM, but he only did so because he knew he was behind. Right, he found the boots there and he was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I got to uh, get out of here. Right yeah. Here. I don't think he usually takes that gamble, so I doubt he will do it. So it'll be an unfortunate time loss for him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's playing it safe. But if he can remember the rupee room, he can make up time going to check Zora if, they're, uh, if that's what their next 
play is. Has 90, I believe. <laughs> yeah. But their only option for farming right now is blind side out, really. Or the holy hand room. They have you the flippers. Did tell, you did so. tell me about a, a bootless oh, holy yeah. hand room setup. But they have guy. the flippers. And the flippers is actually, it's necessary to not have the flippers to do the. That's right. Not really. Set up. Yeah. Yeah. Camera only really gets messed up if you don't have the flippers. This is an interesting uh, choice here from ECM. He, you know what? They do have the Moon Pearl, so this will give access to parts of the Dark World. I mean, not much, actually. Actually, almost nothing. <laughs> It'll give them access to, to Pod and Catfish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the flippers, they'll be able to get to Catfish. There's a couple of obstacles that would normally require the hammer or the uh, or either pair of gloves to get past, but the flippers they... will let them bypass that. He can't get. He can't get to catfish. He need, there's a big building. Oh, there is another glove oh, or yeah. another rock you have to pick up. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> right. So I guess they can check the pyramid and um, House of Darkness with what they have, unless they want to get super weird. And uh, well, even then they can't really get too much else. They had a net. They could get. Well, no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, so Chris didn't end up getting the rupees either. Wow. Both avoiding Zora, probably. I would personally I would probably opt to go check Agna and Desert Ledge before Perfect. going to Agnum. Yeah. Uh it's, it's, I mean, only with the flute. I wouldn't ever, like, walk to Agna. Right, right. Over, over Agonim. But. Yeah, still a chance there could be something good there. I think uh, neither one has gone to the Ice Rod Cave either. Yeah. With the flute, that's a little less painful. Chris is going for it. Yeah, he'll check, probably check these last few locations before going to Aghanim. I think he'll check this and take a swim to Zora. Or no, he actually can't buy the item, so... We'll get a 300 here. <laughs> <laughs> if he's lucky. Ooh. Bottle and a fairy. Bottle and a fairy. He's getting out the flute, so I don't think he's gonna go to the Zora just yet. Yeah. Well, if he's really desperate for rupees, he could go back to the to the race. To his hundred. ACM has... I'm oh, sorry. I'll go for it. I was just going to make a, a nerd joke. ACM has one bite of rupees right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing good in the desert. At least not accessible. Chris still not going to Agony. Is he going to try... A hula hand set up? <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna go farm? Rupees. Yeah, he might you know what he might check the uh the other rupee tree prizes. See if he can get some rupees out of them. I think that was a was that a sword? Yeah, that was just master sword, a downgrade oh. from what they have now. Wow, so options are pretty limited. Chris pulling what he already knew. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be magic. <laughs> and now okay. he's opting for Aghanim. I think that was indecision. Um, yeah. yeah. You're just he like, just... I need to do something while I figure out what to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rough so. putting him in putting him into some tough choices here. Going to Zora just to check the ledge item honestly wouldn't have been that 
time consuming. Yeah, it wouldn't have been terrible. But. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much their last option besides Agonim and Pod. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a hundred more rupees down, so. It's probably <laughs> gonna be coming here, but. Who knows if it's gonna be enough? At least they have a tempered sword for Agonim's tower. Makes oh yeah, makes all the rooms relatively simple. Yeah, for sure. Makes them a little laggier though, apparently. Yeah. At least the dark maze isn't laggier because you can't dash through it. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do have the <laughs> the mirror shield though, so that's a nice, nice old big sprite. Pod is always a pain in the route without the mirror. Yeah, no mirror, no boots. At least they have the bow. Yeah. So they can uh, get to every single location within the dungeon except Helmus Sword. We'll see if ACM routes in some intentional damage boosts to uh, set up a nice death warp somewhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, he may do that. He did not pick up the fairy in a bottle, so he will be able to do that. Chris, however, will uh, regret trying Forget to... Forget that he has a bottle with the fairy in it, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all done that one. <laughs> uh, ooh, he is doing some damage recently. Spikes to try to get across the conveyors. <laughs> 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 They didn't help too much, but he's <laughs> I think he's Well, he, he doesn't have hammer here, so we'd have to walk all the way back through yeah. or just leave, so... Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't boost himself into that heart. <laughs> she almost... Oh, he picked it up! <laughs> <laughs> and the death warp. Yeah. Well, so far, Palace of Darkness hasn't really uh, shown us anything too exciting. It's either this or Zora that has to have something, though. Chat does bring up an interesting point that the fact that the lamp hasn't come yet. Yeah, that's troubling. true. It's troubling for this Palace of Darkness route. Like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. not where the uh, it's wanting them to go. That's There's true, unless it's here. Three more, four more chests ACM can check without the lamp. Uh, well, I'm sure ACM does know his dark room, so he's probably going to check the other stuff anyways. Yeah, but he knows yeah. it well enough to manage. But they will get to go into the dark rupee room. Yeah. Pick up as many there as they can. Yeah. Might be tough to <laughs> navigate well in the dark, but... <laughs> yeah. Just kind of walk around randomly. <laughs> yeah. Just smash your face on the D-pad. There's the King oh. Mario you were looking for. <laughs> Doesn't really do anything at this point, but... <laughs> 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 now an interesting thing about the dark rooms if you do find an item in the in the chests and dark rooms it will not show because of the way yeah. the layers are drawn on the super nintendo so uh acm also getting literally zero rupees <laughs> wow yeah. <laughs> So he at least will be able to, should be able to check everything else here. Yeah, he'll probably, well, you think he'll bomb jump? Nope. <laughs> so he did pick out, he did open one chest to his item we did not see. I think he's it was checking nothing. his inventory now, trying to see yeah. if he can determine what it was. But I think it must have been some really hard piece. 
yeah. yeah. or a ammo capacity upgrade. People people have gotten in trouble before from doing a dark room and not realizing they got a very important item. Yeah. The only one that I actually remember because it was really funny to me was was Miramong getting yeah, Titan's exactly. mitts <laughs> and not knowing he had them for like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chris ditching the fairy. He remembered. Oh, okay. He remembered. <laughs> he seemed to pick up an upgraded sword. He's also gotten the map and now. Wow. So is Zora. Oh, man. <laughs> ACM's going to regret not picking up the Ooh, rupees. <laughs> wow. That's pretty Dang. crazy. So it looks like he did get some money from one of the chests as well. He did get some money. So he got 70 after the dark room. Also skipping that 20. Dang, dude. <laughs> you know, he might check this in the next. He might still be putting off Zora, or even not yeah. talking about it. I mean, they don't even have gloves, so they can't yeah. Arm the, the 50 rupee thief rock <laughs> that's outside of desert either. Hmm. Yeah, they're left with the 30 rupee farm from the thief the, hideout in the Kakariko the 50 town. Rupees, which probably wouldn't even be worth it, honestly. Yeah. I think it's 100 at the maze. Oh, is it 100? Yeah. yeah 100. Which probably up. is worth it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that would that would be worth it then. So if they can, if gonna, they can remember it. It's going to find a whole lot of nothing here. But of course, Chris okay. still has the option to search the the rupee room or to clear out the rupee room, mm -hmm. and can save a significant amount of time on ACM if he does. If he forgets, I'm gonna yell at him later. <laughs> <laughs> Chris did take a better route through Pod than ACM did, though, in my opinion. It's actually a really uh, cool dungeon in the versatility of the options for routing. Yeah. Especially with hammer or mirror. Because it's just so much quicker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no. Here's the rupee farm. Oh no, it's gonna Here happen. it is. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> he's gotta he's he's gotta be kicking himself right now. Like Zora has to have a progression item. There's no other options at the moment. I guess it could be on the ledge, you know. Yeah. If you're not gonna go there without Yeah, it. right. Yeah, if you go there without the money and show up empty handed, you just Ooh, Chris bomb jumping here. Oh, that's a cool bomb jump. I love it. <laughs> Using his 2011 knowledge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Using another bomb jump. 2013 knowledge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 2012, <laughs> technically. Oh, was it? Okay. Like December, very late December 2012, because I remember talking with... Or no, Cypher did it for uh, his AGDQ 2013 run. Yeah, I remember that. He was talking about how it was a brand new trick. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right around when I started playing 2013. What got found super late 2012 was Yuzuhara clipping in the first room of Ice Palace. Oh, man. <laughs> and that really set us on a dangerous road, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Big Flippers also killed the West Side Breeze in 2012. Mm -hmm. I think that was found shortly after I picked up the game, which was like April 2012. Or it might have just gotten found, I don't remember. It was so long ago. So we'll see if Chris, uh, Chris gets rupees. He's killing himself? I don't. I don't think he's doing that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just having trouble finding the exit. Hmm. Dude, I hate getting lost. Once you start getting lost, it's so hard to, to gain your bearings again. He should be right there. Yeah, yeah there he is. Yeah. He has to be careful not to get touched by something. 
Oh yeah, yeah. In the like dark, like the turtles or <laughs> or the anti fairies. The anti in the dark room. Yeah, he gets his cane. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's this gonna, is gonna, he's gonna die when he goes back in the room. This is this could be bad. He's... Are they are they blocking the door? <laughs> yeah, they will be. Oh no no <laughs> no. <laughs> Does the right statue move? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Only the left one, right? <laughs> so this, is, this is testing some oh, super casual game knowledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Chris. Alright, so ACM getting 400 rupees, and then he's gonna get the 100 from the race game. Yep, this is Somehow, good. ACM is still going to pull out ahead, farming rupees 30 at a time. Oh, man. And it looks like Chris has picked up more than zero, so we're going to bet <laughs> Still has to be really careful the anti fairies in this room. He'll probably uh, get that last chest and then just walk around the rupees until the anti fairy kills him to get out. Actually, yeah. death warping wouldn't benefit him at all, would it? No, he was just saving quit. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, so he's in a position now. Uh, actually, he'll have exactly as many as ACM if he goes and gets those 100. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing now. Uh, Man. Realizing there's nothing left in here to check. <laughs> Seems a little unfocused today, doesn't he? Yeah. That's what he gets for going away and doing normal things on the weekend instead of just playing Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> he had like a four day long bachelor party or something. Oh, Ooh, the there's hook the hook shot. <laughs> that that the hurts. Red has nothing. Ah, well. Well, it's progress anyway. <laughs> And this is where Hookshot literally gives them everything, so Aghanim wasn't actually required. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. Yep, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. Aghanim might still have been required. Yeah, possibly. It's possible, but there are a lot no. of things they can check them. Yeah. I mean, I'd be, I'd be pretty surprised if none of the eight chests on East Death Mountain had like gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the hammer. It's nice that they both made like the same terrible decisions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they both probably feel pretty bad about this. I would imagine. Doing Aghanim when you don't have to, full clearing Palace of Darkness when you can't quite finish it, and then having to go back later. Those are things that yeah. you do not want to have to do. I know. Did either of them actually look at the map in the Dark World to see what five and six were? Um, I don't think they have. They both checked the Light World map twice, though. Oh, wow, well, there we go. <laughs> there. So, yep, Aghanim not required. <laughs> Dang. Oh, well, well. May, well, still, maybe, maybe he was. There's, still, crazy. there's still a potential. <laughs> yeah, it'd be crazy. Well, they, have, they have flippers, having gotten mids there. Oh, yeah, they have that's access to the entirety true. of Dark World. That's true. I forgot about the flippers there. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, ACM not bomb jumping. <clears throat> but yeah, Chris especially is is very big about playing to his opponent and where or where he thinks his opponent is. And I I feel like he probably thinks he's behind a good bit, given how this is all played out. And that might result in some risk taking from him. Um, what did ACM just do? Uh, uh, I don't know. 
one actually. You skip Spiral Cave? He skipped everything in the Dark World? You could have done it, right? Yeah, you could have, because of the maze. Uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. That is a... <laughs> Huh. Like I'd, I'd understand, I'd understand, you know, like forgetting to go check the, gar the dark world because they got mitts, but he actually went in the dark world and then saved and quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really trying to figure out what what his motivation could have been, but I can't think of anything. There. <laughs> <laughs> like he, did, he did do the spiral cave, so he may have to go back there at some point anyway, but he could have found the mirror in the he, he did just get Book and Bombos, but yeah. he skipped six chests. Seven, I guess, since he didn't do spiral cave either. And Chris is going to be able to look at the floating island item. We might we might see a blind lumberjack item pool. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for this air upgrade. Oh well. <laughs> well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure both of these runners think they're behind right now. Yeah, um, they so, yeah. <laughs> the Ooh. ice rod. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay. That is gonna <laughs> bite ACM so hard. <laughs> well, it might. I mean, he's definitely going to go back to that to that place at some point anyway. And if, I mean, if he's making his way, uh, I mean, Turtle Rock isn't a dungeon that you're going to want to do early, so there's a good chance he'll find it before he needs it. Um, I think it's a bigger problem if Chris runs into Fire Rod or Hammer up here. Yeah, or or the mirror. Or the mirror, yeah. Which are very important items. I don't know, man. Spiral Cave. Is not something you normally think about post East no, like, Mountain. Yeah. I mean, especially having gotten boots on Death Mountain too, it wouldn't have been like super slow either. Ooh, nice. The nice bad glove. Yeah. <laughs> he gets to check Turtle Rock Medallion, and which is also some intel that ACM does not have, and the Hookshot Cave. Hmm. Is ether. Hmm. I guess ACM is gonna maybe do the the full dark world tour all the way to the uh, so-called hype cave. So nothing, nothing really in nothing, the truck cave at all. So nothing good in dark world. So. Not not a terrible gamble. The ice rod hopefully won't come to bite him in the bite him in the keister later. Chris doing the mushroom. No spin speed off the stairs though. Yeah. <laughs> that strategy is way newer than when he did runs. <laughs> oh, oh ACM gets oh, ether. Oh, oh, the mirror. That is... Okay. That's a good item. I I nice shovel. Opinion. Nice shovel from the hype cave. So what that means is Chris is going to do the Dark World tour that ACM just did, but he's going to be able to use the mirror to check a few more locations along the way. Yeah, he can check... Actually... Flower heart piece and bomb One more location, isn't it? Well, he can check the bombos, bombos too. Yeah. He doesn't have the book yet. Oh. Oh, he, he skipped. Well, he skipped the bonk cave next to sanctuary. He hasn't done this. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, just one. Well. <laughs> and the hype cave leading to twenty rupees. <laughs> Neither one wants to do uh, these without the hammer. See, I do. I'm surprised I do Chris it. wouldn't. Because he has the mirror. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'd, I'd just do the whole dungeon. It's a crystal dungeon. You can you can definitely complete it. Can't get every chest, but 
We know ACM likes to uh, occasionally skip a single chest in a dungeon. I'm surprised he wouldn't take that gamble. Do I see it? Either you're definitely going to have to go back there by skipping it now, or possibly going to have to go back there if you go in. So, yeah, might as well go in. I like to do it early, too. Oh, also Chris is able to do the smithy stuff with the mirror. Oh, like so that. it is a few more things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. And the in the latest logic, you actually don't need the mirror to do this stuff. So. Yeah, that's, that's right. It's kind of why it's I was not, forgetting about it. Yeah, it's not terribly convenient to do it without the mirror, but it's possible. So, um, I'd assume Chris is going to do this southern dark world tour and then uh the hammer oh wow oh wow now one of those smiths just can't ever do anything ever again <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's nice you know for as you can as you can see chris can now check uh this place immediately and he'll be uh less apprehensive about doing thieves town soon you could also go be pot after I gave, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice for him. But we'll see. I would probably go to the Meyer area and just see what that medallion is, just to get my known required items out of the way. It's not a bad choice. Um, with the mirror, you could check the first part of Desert if you're, mm -hmm. you know, into that. It'd be silly not to, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's like a minute, maybe, to check it. <laughs> the whole first part of the desert from the back. I think he's doing Night Cave now, though. Yep, looks like it. Did he try save and quitting with the book? With the, uh, the chest? Maybe with the chest, yeah. I think he did. Wait. I don't know what he did. Somehow he I just think he... in that location. I don't know how he got there. I think he tried and then remembered that this isn't V22. That may that may be the case. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's there's Ether. He flew with the purple chest. Okay, and then just flew back to the house to get to the dark yeah. world. Yeah. Makes sense. You see him about to find his hammer. Then go back to Thieves Town, probably. <laughs> There's been some kind of strange routing from both of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially given hammer there, not not just doing Thieves Town. Get some mirror and check this item. Yeah, I think it was a red rupee. I think ACM did check this. Yeah. Yeah. See the way Sam chooses to do this part. Oh, he's going to go to. I didn't oh, yeah, the did. dark room. It, this is like a heart container, I think. I just blanked. Yeah, you see him could have checked Bombos here. But yeah, he... that's why I was kind of wondering how he was going to go about this. Yeah. He might still do that. <laughs> it's like he's nah, going he's to the Meyer area. Slash desert. Yep. Let's see what our other medallion requirement's going to be. Alright, double ether. So they're good on medallion. Yep. That's which takes really exciting there. You can check desert and the checkerboard cave. So are they just hunting fire rod at the moment? Well at least CM still needs to find ice rod. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Back to fire sword. 
particularly nice, I think, because he, he may just do Meyer. I mean, if, if that's the last time he needs, you won't have to, you know, search for items in Meyer, which is the most unappealing thing to have to do, really. Ice Rod is in the Spiral Cave, which ACM inexplicably skipped. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to ask him in chat. I mean, I understand that a little bit. more than skipping the entirety of Dark World Death Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> he must have just completely forgot what that he could. Uh, I just, uh, I'm, not, I'm not understanding that one. <laughs> you may have had like. I know his neighbor was like knocking on the door and just like saving Quinn and like <laughs> go away. <laughs> if you can run in a fire rod. Yeah. Somewhere though, that would be nice. You didn't find anything useful in desert. That's not going to help. And one more trip to the Village of the Outcasts for ACM. <laughs> Might be his last one. Is he going to finally enter Thieves Town? Yep. <laughs> he really needs to do that. I mean, he could go north, north Hyrule, but he really yeah. needs to just get Thieves Town done. Hey, very. Well, maybe not. If Fire Rod's not in Thieves Town, I could see Chris jumping into Skullwoods. He likes to route the first part of Skullwoods with the North uh, Dark World oh. check. He actually uh, advocates that. Yeah, he was the inventor of the Skullwoods play. <laughs> also helped him get a 105 in a weekly. <laughs> Beating second place for like 20 minutes or something. It was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be, be ACM and me who finished within like a minute or two of each other by 20 plus minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it could happen also, again. That was also a Samaria <laughs> in Meyer seed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> nice highway. Maybe forgetting the gold sword can actually kill Wow, oh, there okay. it is. So, oh, wow. That's, the play uh, the play here is probably, if Chris doesn't flute to six to see what the Meyer medallion is, he's dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, because then he knows he doesn't have to check anything else. Um, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised to see him do Skullwoods first, but I agree with you that checking Meyer first is probably better for the intel. That puts ACM in a bind, though, because he still doesn't know where the ice rod is. So he's still going to be yeah. checking overworld, still checking dungeons. Yeah. yeah, the real question is, does he check another dungeon first, or does he go up Death Mountain? Yeah, he really needs to remember yeah. Death Mountain. Okay, he's good. He's, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe. <laughs> a 127 remember. player needing the cape blind. Oh my god. This was the second Western player to get a one a sub one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is Chris gonna know? Is he gonna know he's in go mode? Oh he's doing it. I think he is. Thank goodness. Maybe I won't have to yell at Chris after this. This is a tough go mode, though. 11 hearts, but no mail upgrade and no lamp. Yeah, the lack of the lamp maybe is the biggest thing. Yeah. They have silvers and have magic, so there shouldn't really be a worry in Misery Mire. Yeah. You can you can cape for like 20 seconds. Ooh, do we Mire now? Good choice. This is going to mean he's going to have to check less total locations in ACM. 
Um, it really, that ice rod miss, I didn't think it was going to be as impactful, but it, it may actually be a big deal. Just yeah, because he's so him. much in the air. Yeah, for ACM to have a good chance here, he needs... He needs to just be like, I forgot Spiral Cave, let's go check that right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of locations on Death Mountain still remaining for him, including the ones in the Dark World, so... If he's, I mean... It's definitely plausible. In dungeons. For sure. The question is, will he actually check Spiral Cave if he goes back to Death Mountain, or just do Dark World Death Mountain and save and quit? Yeah. And the way they've been uh, playing today, both of them, <laughs> a little bit uh, <laughs> off, it seems. He's probably checking the mirror ledge down here. Mm -hmm. Since he did not have the mirror the first go around. That's right. Yeah, he's going to be at a pretty big disadvantage. Either way, but if he puts yeah. off going up to the mountain for pretty much any time at all, it's going to be insurmountable pretty soon. Mire is also the only real dungeon that they have to check chests they wouldn't normally have to check in. Yeah. Turtle Rock, you you kind of have to check every chest because of how many small keys you need. Yeah, with well, Mire just looks like the big key. That's right, Palace of Darkness has already been done. See, see him doing Skull Woods. That's a shame. Yeah. yeah there's a big difference between checking all, having to check all the chests in Skull Woods and what Chris is going to be able to do is completely skip them all. You don't even need a big key in Skull Woods to go fight Mothula, so... That's right. Small keys you need are from a pot and a mummy, so you don't even need to check a chest for a small key either. Yep. Yeah. Don't try to bonk. <laughs> Don't try to bonk there when the door's open. <laughs> oh man. Okay. If you're standing well, I didn't actually you can bonk there, you don't have didn't. to bonk, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. You could still do bonk strats for that. You would just have to place the bomb on the, the left uh, against the wall instead of against the uh, or against the the door wall instead of against the pipe wall, I guess. <laughs> right, right. So this is the most annoying dark room in the game. But it's like Chris has got it. Yeah, that it's one not can too be bad. No. There's a there's a couple pretty easy ways you can do it. Uh, with like the the slanted wall on the left meeting the flat wall. If you go like one tile down and make your small right to the right, it'll be on the button, and then you can also just throw the block from the bottom of the room. Uh, and it lands yeah. on it perfectly. Oh, Chris yeah. trying to be fancy here. Uh, <laughs> well, he <I'm> eventually. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a troubling three hearts, green male. Any vitreous damage, and he's dead. Oh, yeah. Could be a problem. I mean, he does have the silver arrows, and those are pretty darn good against vitreous. But it would only yeah. take a small misstep to to get killed. As long as he keeps his distance a little bit, he should be fine. He's pretty brave, though. <laughs> it's like a good moth for ACM. Yeah, you can call that one even before the fight was over. When you get a start like that, it's just going to be easy. You can also just pick the right eyes to shoot, and none of them ever move. <laughs> wow, that was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, 
<laughs> what pedestal item is. Maybe it's a fetch quest item. An ACM will pull it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just couch cash. Alright, if he doesn't go to Death Mountain here, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he might be tempted to do the North Dark World stuff. No, he's fluting. Yeah, I think he just has to. Okay, yeah. I don't think lose 10 seconds to this squirrel. I'd probably flew <laughs> again, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm> <laughs> Alright, now we get to see what Skullwoods really looks like. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I see I'm gonna, gonna check way. Ether and maybe Hera. Uh, he might be doing Spike Cave too. <laughs> oh, I see somebody giving bad advice in chat that you can use the cape to get through squirrels. That is not true. Don't try it. <laughs> you can kill them. Only when they're magic not. powder. Yeah, you need to magic powder them while they're not stone, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Right. or use quake, I think. Oh yeah. yeah, quake should work. I don't know if it probably on other can't be stoned thing. Well, this is kind of a shame. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna. Might even have to check the basement. I don't think he will, though, even if it has an item potentially. But he probably will go all the way up and kill Moldorn. Wonder if we'll see him go back to Eastern. Oh no, the Armos got the last item, so never mind. Yeah. I mean, he's got to do. Yeah, I figure he was doing East, East Death Mountain right after. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, he's out of there. Two items, that's all you need. Yeah. Well, should be the first thing he gets here. He might do Turtle Rock Warp and do Dark World stuff before jumping down here, though. And that would be... I mean, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, but... This is a shame. But it's just prolonging it <laughs> even yeah. more. Chris is going to do Swamp Palace next. This will be a nice quick dungeon for him. Quite easy, in fact. Dude, Macy, maybe ACM will gamble Ice Rod and Turtle Rock and just jump in right now. That would be <laughs> <laughs> this isn't version 21. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to check Tarquil's stuff first. Which means there's still a chance he might not even check the Spiral Cave at all. If he forgets completely. Yeah, the worst thing is he does hook shot cave and leaves to do like burn or something without looking at mm -hmm. spiral cave. Well, what do you guys think it would take for this to even back up? If anything? Uh Chris is gonna have to die to cold stare, probably. And despawn G Tower spray. <laughs> that would that would be a big deal, yeah. <laughs> Alright, it looks like he is remembering to check spiral cave. Uh, no, is he going to turn around? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so maybe only... maybe 2G tower despawns. Okay, yeah, Chris is gonna make one trip up Ganon's tower and not having collected a key earlier in the part of it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mirror back, and then he's gonna despawn the sprites for the second trip. <laughs> Or maybe, <laughs> maybe there's two ice rods in this seed. <laughs> yeah. 
let me just let me just fly to England real quick and just step on his console real quick. <laughs> yeah. That do it. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, is Chris going to try to do the zero cycle here? I'm going to say no. Well, maybe. No, probably not. I don't think he knows ever learned it. He, yeah, but that doesn't stop him from trying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I did show him how to do it at last HDQ, I believe. I don't know if he ever physically tried it himself, but... It's pretty hard. <laughs> Can't teach the old dogs new tricks. <laughs> they say. Alright. In the last race, he did mess up the second phase of Argus. Oh. Let's see if he, uh... oh, he got it. Nice. Still not doing the, the silver arrow shot, though. No. <laughs> I don't think many people do that unless you have watched a swordless speedrun before. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of hard. Mike has a really good timing strat that I use, or that I've picked up from him. He has all the best strategies. Yeah, I, Mike usually <laughs> put, I usually put Argus like half a tile above the wall, and then put Link against the wall. And then shoot my arrow right before he starts moving. Well, we get to see trademark ACM Turtle Rock strats. We've been giving ACMR <laughs> about his turtle watch strats for years. <laughs> Pretty much since 2013. <laughs> yeah. He's one of the best speedrunners of this game of all time, but his his like average turtle rock time is like mediocre, really. 720. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I don't think his best is much better than that, honestly. Like, he does turtle rock really well with his strats every time, for the most part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, he's also a guy who has a consistent swamp palace, and that's... That's yeah. pretty noteworthy. Man. If only... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least one person in this uh, commentary room right now does not have a consistent swamp palace. At least one. <laughs> at least one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is somebody saying that maybe they swapped the screens? Unfortunately, the oh, video man. quality definitely confirms who is who here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, that, not that Chris's quality is bad. Well, no. It's yeah. just not ACMLM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Few people do have. I would I would say Ash Ashes is up there too, mm -hmm. and Andy's is actually pretty good as well. But pretty much anyone who hopped over to the Media Player Classic crew, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. runs like a script to correct things. Yep. <clears throat> I think Evil Ash wrote the tutorial, and uh, that's kind of set up. Yeah, he most certainly did. He uses uh, RGB now, though, doesn't he? That's video. Yeah. yeah, he does, I believe. Do you use RGB too, Andy? I think, right? No. Oh. ACM actually has does. custom scripts that he's written for his own stream. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything on his stream is custom, actually. His timer, his chat overlay program. Yep. The font he uses it for his timer. <laughs> yeah, he actually made his own font. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing he's ever shared about it is some like super vague document about how <laughs> how <laughs> scripts run through his his video capture. <laughs> um, he also, I think, wrote the what he uses, the interface he uses to restream races. Oh, SRL. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is definitely his own program. Yeah. <laughs> I think he also coded his own uh, gameplay AI. <laughs> it's a self <laughs> <robot>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's malfunctioning right now, though. 
Ah, well, yeah. Death Mountain. Yeah, he's, yeah, this is bad. It's a yeah. shame, really, but it happens. I mean, he made a... Yeah. It was really strange when we left Death Mountain. I didn't think it was going to be a huge uh, a huge thing, but unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be the biggest thing. Yeah. I wonder how long it's going to take him to uh, end up checking that. You'll see Chris is finished while he's still looking for that last item. Yeah. With a few dungeons wonder, left. I wonder if we'll see a rare ACM forfeit. It has never I happened. Don't, yeah, it has never happened. So He's forfeit 16 times in 13 Never in a race in the past, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, as far as I know. Oh, that is true. No forfeits or DQs in a link to the past. Vanilla <laughs> or uh, hacks. So yep. we'll see him finish. I mean, surely. I think when he when he sees the Chris stop done, he might assume Ice Rod is in a in something a he missed. Place. Something he overlooked. Yeah. yeah. I think this is the second time this tournament that. Uh, Chris has won a race off the spiral cave. <laughs> or off his opponent forgetting about it. <laughs> wow. He must have like some voodoo curse or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was did he just get like a backwards fireball shot? From that mimic? I don't know. Look look kinda weird. Maybe he reflected it with the mirror show or something. Oh, you know what? That's probably what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mirror shield, that's what yeah. yeah. Dude, the first time I actually reflected a wizard o beam with a mirror shield, my, my eyes were thing. like, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll get to see a little more of each of these dungeons when I see him runs through them. Still no lamp. Where could that have been? Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe it's in. It could have like, been in swamp. I think. Could be in swamp. Could be in the uh, spike cave. Could be in ice. Yeah, it could be in ice. Helmsworth's mask has 17 hit points. The hammer does one hit point of damage. 17 strikes will put him at uh, a really odd number of HP remaining. It's like uh, 19 or something. Um, two hits with the gold sword will do it. It'd be interesting if the helmet health was 16, so it would only take four bombs instead of five. And you know what's interesting about that is you can actually, he has a single pool of health, so if you use bombs in the mask, you'll actually overkill the mask and remove HP from the second phase. And if you do that, it'll take one less hit with a, a weak weapon like the Master Sword or Arrows to kill the second phase. Interesting. Yep, not really very useful, but just uh, kind of an interesting fun fact. I think only one actual runner I've ever seen use bombs on Helmosaur. I'm gonna guess Pooey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used to do two bombs in the hammer. Yep. And then you pick up extra bombs in Deepstown from that chest in the uh, attic. Turtle Rock's gonna be the last dungeon that Christos Owen has to complete here before Ganon's tower. Could be looking at a sub 130 for Chris, depending upon how nice G Tower is to him. Yeah, the difference between a, a fast and a slow big key in King's Tower is actually minutes. It's quite, uh, can be quite significant. Lots of minutes. <laughs> yeah.
Ooh. Ooh, ACM's gonna get, I think, one movement, maybe two, in the second phase, of, or the second cycle of Argus, and a map. Wow. <laughs> you can tell he's frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, both of them felt a little bit off, but Chris did find the items that he needed. Unfortunately, yeah. ACM didn't. Um, but Chris honestly probably does not feel like he's in a comfortable spot here. I'm sure he doesn't feel like he's leagues ahead. Um, yeah. But I bet he doesn't even think he has a lead right now. But he also probably doesn't think he's very, very, very far behind. Whereas I feel like ACM is probably thinking that right now. Yeah. ACM is probably thinking he's very far behind. I mean, doing Aghanim and then not needing to, having to farm for rupees for ages and then Zora didn't have anything. You know, going yeah. to Palace of Darkness and not, um, you know, not finding anything there really, having to do it in two separate sections. He's going for powder now, so we can turn that in. He's, yeah, he's <laughs> clearly just forgotten that one location. And we've seen it, you know, in this tournament yeah. a few times. You forget one location, sometimes that's, that's just all it takes. Randomizer is hard. Yeah. Must have been out partying last night, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. For all we know, I guess we did see him at the at the Canadian speedrun thing that was last year. Yeah. Up yeah. until then, we had only seen his hands. Actually, <laughs> there were very rare oca occasions where we saw part of his face or an obstructed view of his face. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the Christos Block Blast, which is slightly different from the Brahmin Meat Block Blast because you actually let the block land before you blast it. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Scrivo Block Blast, which is when you don't do an item dash but still blast <laughs> it when it's in the air. <laughs> These are very important distinctions. <laughs> As usual, Brahmin has the best one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Grand Block Blast. At least ACM is rolling in rupees now. <laughs> oh, that's something to be happy about, I guess. <laughs> oh, what are these strats, Chris? <laughs> We used to rewatch Cypher's SMV pack. Uh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> Blunt Bunny has made a video showing all of the, the double pokey RNGs and the correct strat for each of them. I think yeah. he's one of the very, very few players who actually does that room correctly the majority of the time. Most players, even uh, even top players, just sort of improvise. And, do, you know, they do pretty well, but there are technically correct strategies for every single pattern. 16 patterns total. I was thinking the other day how they might actually vary with the gold sword if you wanted to really go in with optimizing yeah. it. Yeah, I guess so. Especially if you're um, if you're also you know considering that it might be 100%, you may be uh, yeah. taking the other exit out of the room. You know, maybe dashing yeah, yeah. through one for the for the kill might be worthwhile or something. Um, but that's not something I think that's really been looked into. Yeah. Well, I don't think Chris has any anything that's going to help him survive here. I think he's down to two hearts. Just yeah, this, this could be trouble. But will it be enough? Probably not. That was a risky cane dash to do with uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> two hearts. Especially with the pokey being down in that like section and not stopping on the pegs. Yeah, yeah, that thing could have got him. Man, I can. I know exactly oh. what he's saying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This fight. Okay. Well. Oh. He should be okay. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> he, sh he should be fine. Yeah. Well, ACM's gonna at least get another crystal. It's not gonna help him towards his final goal, but it's going to at least give him some kind of progress. 
You might be thinking Fat Fairy. Do we even... Yeah. Oh, it's Pod and Skullwoods. Yeah. Every time he finds a new location or thinks of a new location, he's thinking, okay, this has to be the one. There's just so few options <laughs> left. You know. Or, oh, I forgot Catfish. I'll go there. Oh, I forgot Cape Cable. I'll check that. Every time, it's going to be disappointed. Yeah, so, I wonder if Chris still thinks he's behind because of, like, how simple everything was post Zora. Mm -hmm. he, he might. He could still think he's behind. Yeah, let's see if that uh, affects his Ganon's Tower routing very much. I mean, honestly, the way Chris routes Ganon's Tower is just kind of whatever he feels like doing. You know, it's just, it's it's not even like a logical decision for him. He just, yeah, it's practically random. If he gets a, if he gets a small key in one of the right chests and feels like going right, he'll go right. Otherwise, he won't, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Actually, he's already switched to the mirror, so I think he might be committed to one decision here. Two keys, yep. even. I'm gonna guess number seven. Number seven. All right. So there's the third item on the torch. Just a star piece. You see him going through the dark rooms of Palace of Darkness now. We try to light this torch in the turtle room. That room is pretty difficult without that as an option. But if you're able to do that, which, you know, with the fire rod and half magic, you have a lot of tries. Um, it does simplify that room quite so significantly. Good. It was chest six. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I was uh, too busy ranting while it happened. <laughs> so, barring, <laughs> barring a sprite despawn. This or should two. be a relatively easy sub yeah. for Chris. And I don't even know what would have to happen at this point. <laughs> I think I think Ganon would just have to crash Chris's game. You know, Chris <laughs> is very British, and if somebody offers him tea, he has to accept. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Maybe there's, there might be some sabotage. At the end of this <laughs> Chris could probably run the seed again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's a, that's a comment from the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, not for me. <laughs> uh, well, I think the, the fairy cave is probably what's next. I mean, what else could it be? I mean, it could be Death Mountain. It's not. Oh, it is. I misread the, the menu there. What's it going to be, though? Spike Cave and then something else? <laughs> Spike Cave and then not Spiral Mountain. Or Spiral Spiral Cave is probably what's going to happen. I mean, I, I think at this point he's possibly just completely forgotten about it. I think once Chris uh, Chris finishes, he may, he may be flustered. ACM might be flustered now. And at that point, he may just kind of stop and think, you know, because the sense of urgency will be gone. He may, he may hit him. Yeah, we still haven't found a lamp. Yeah. <laughs> my my guess is is Ice Palace or Misery Mire. That might be the only options left. I don't know if ACM checked Desert or not. I think ACM did check that. So. The first half was checked, but uh, no fire source was found at the time. I don't know if they oh, got okay. both items, though. So worst case scenario, Lamb Molus is holding it, or it's in ice, or somewhere in Misery Mire that Chris didn't check. Well, what is he? Where is he going here? Mm, could it be? Question. Uh, there's nothing else to do up here. Yeah. Well, I can't think of anything else, but maybe, maybe he will. <laughs> maybe he forgot ether. Oh. 
Is this it? I think this is it. He's gonna be so, he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> yeah. I predict. I Here predict some rage. Some Here rage slashes. I don't even know if I would slash. I think I would probably put the controller down and just have to walk away for like a minute. Yeah. Because at this point, <laughs> he's gonna know he's losing. One hundred percent. Well. <laughs> it bombs the chest. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's been just up Aghanim's tower. Not a bad Aghanim, too. I think it was uh, probably a three cycle. I didn't actually watch the fight, but just guessing by how long it took. I think it was a three cycle. Three oh, crystal dungeons four. remaining for ACM and Ganon's tower. Should be a pretty straightforward Ganon fight for Chris. Yep. Quite well equipped for this. Ooh, Ooh hearts. Chris even gets the the Ganon Weedabix slogan. <laughs> <laughs> Give me six hits per uh, phase here for the first two phases. And we'll just assume that was intentional damage to get rid of sword beams. Yeah, sword beams can be a little inconvenient sometimes, so. Some players like to, uh, you know, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is common for some players to lose sword beams in a few specific places. Um, I think right before Mothula is one of the most common places you'll see players intentionally take a little bit of damage so they don't have sword beams for the Mothula fight. Four arrows on the last piece here is all it takes. Nice and easy. Good finish. You may see... <laughs> you see him jump in this hole a few times. A few more times. He'll see uh, Chris finish. He may even like pause or, or something. Stop playing for a second to <laughs> type something in the chat room. <laughs> Chris finishes with an official time of 127.20. ECM in the race chat says, I guess I can bomb every chest now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ECM finally has Ice Rod. He's in go mode, just has to actually finish. Yeah, and he will. He too much longer. Probably like 25 minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he does have powder. So if you need that fairy, you can grab one. Might still have one in a bottle. Don't recall. Um, I don't think ACM ever got. Oh no, yeah, he did. Yeah, I think he went dice rock kind of late. Never. Uh, never yeah, he did after game. pod, so he should have his fairy in a bottle. Yeah. Oh, do we have Pretty Chris cool. here? Hey, Chris. Hello. Congrats, Congrats on your on your landslide victory. Thank you. I don't say surprised. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we both the... actually did the exact same stuff early game, pretty much. Yeah, my early game was terrible, really bad. So going to Agnes Tower was a mistake. Basically, yeah. I forgot I had flippers, so I didn't think about ledge item. I was only thinking about Zora. Went to check the tree to see if there were rupees, which there weren't. And then I was like, I'm not going to bother farming. going to gamble pyramid. Pyramid was nothing. I was like, all right, I'll gamble pod. Didn't realize I didn't have lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Faffed around in the dark for a while. And then was just <laughs> like, oh, God. One difference was that you actually got rupees in Palace of Darkness compared to ACM, who got literally zero in the basement. <laughs> wow. Zero. Oh, wow. He ended okay. up farming 30 from Blind's house. Ouch. Yeah, and we didn't even need to, is the annoying yeah. thing. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty rough 
Well, it was already rough. I just so we both made the same mistake. That's interesting. Yeah, in the early game, I, I imagine you both uh, figured you, you fell behind because of things like unnecessary agony and uh, wasted trip to Palace of Darkness. Unfortunately, ACM made a really strange choice to not uh, fully explore Death Mountain while he was there and, and able to, and uh, forgot the Spiral Cave forever. Oh no, what was in that chest? Uh, Ice Rod. Oh, no. Last item you needed. <laughs> So, oh, so what happened, ACM checked East Death Mountain, got the mitts, went into the Dark World to check Dark World Death Mountain, and then save and quit immediately upon entering the Dark World. For what <laughs> seemed like no reason. Yeah, I couldn't think of any reason why you do that. I mean, you already have the hook shot. The only thing he was uh, lacking was the mirror. That may have helped a little bit. But, <laughs> so yeah, it was... Several interesting decisions. I so the one good thing is that Samaria was in Pod, even though Pod was a wasted visit initially. Mm -hmm. That gave us Samaria, and then once I finally got over to Death Mountain from Zora Sledge item, I then found everything else pretty quickly in Death Mountain and the Dark World. So I could just dungeon rush really quickly. Yeah. I think I I had six dungeons left in Go mode, which is pretty rare. Yeah, because you got. Fire Rod in Thieves Town, which was yeah, your last th item. Thieves Town is always a quick one to do, even when you're looking for items, so I figured that was the best bet to start. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I really focused, because I was so sure I was behind, so I was like, right, I'm going to have to try and execute really, really well for the entirety of this Dark World now. So I was trying really hard. And generally, you're trying execution to execute this game. Yeah, oh, my heart skips a million beats. <laughs> 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 oh, at least, at least his body only does one heart of damage. I didn't even. And not four like his face. <laughs> I just saw me get bounced off a spike or something. <laughs> just like, oh, still alive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my I was like sweaty, nervous. I was looking at the IRC, expecting the dot done anytime soon. But yeah, I'm glad that's over. But I shout out to ACM, especially yesterday's race. Uh, how are you feeling about your match versus men? Best of five. Uh, I mean, all my matches since Mike have been <laughs> extremely tough. So, best of five is going to be a slog. I think we'll have to try and schedule when they're going to be exactly. But more of the same, hopefully. Less mistakes, better execution. At least uh, with Ben, you'll be able to schedule Euro friendly times. Yeah. yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Because it's <laughs> one thirty in the morning right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put my Zora's mistake down to the tiredness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all, but yeah. But yeah, looking forward to the final matches. Should be a really good on. Ben's a top player, so yeah, Ben's a guy who has not done a lot of races, so it's really hard to see where he stands compared to, you know, the big uh, the the others. Big players. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and catch a couple of his streams before we play. Still his strats. <laughs> yeah, he did He did beat Ash, though. And Ash does quite a bit, few races. So That's true. And Ash is also very good. So this with the ECM, like, this could have gone anyway. This match and kind of all the matches against the ECM. It was luck of the draw, really. And with everything but else that like, ECM has checked, we still won't have a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea what that was. I was really sad when I walked into Dark Maze and Darkness Palace, and it was pitch black because I didn't even think about not having a lamp at the time. You're gonna have yeah. to explain something to me and Andy, though. What was up with killing us in the, uh, in the file names? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hey, it was just down to luck. We were we were talking about you were gonna pick a file name of who was your favorite. Yeah. And then instead of doing that, you added some extra BM and deleted me. <laughs> I just kept yeah, like, yeah. speeding up. But obviously Andy was the first to be deleted. Because he's the worst. Everybody knows that. But yeah, it's really late here, so I'm going to hop off to bed. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
Cheers, guys. See you later. Yeah, that's ACM. Good. Yeah, final should be good. It'll be interesting to see a best of five. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, the two the two semifinals both went two games. Yeah. It happens, and there there will I, I think there will be a third place match between Evil Ash and ACML. That's just gonna be a, a best of one. And maybe. Ash was talking about how he's gonna try to convince the loser of this match to uh, play on new logic. Because he really he really doesn't like V18. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, most people don't. I actually uh, said that on stream after I lost a mic. <laughs> <laughs> One last crystal to collect in a dungeon that ACM has already fully cleared, so... I mean, you'll get to save a lot of time really going straight to try next. It's still kind of a long dungeon, but... At least, uh, there's no surprises. Is an interesting route to draw rock, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe you just sitting on a mess with the, the random squirrels again. Apparently, these squirrels are not happy about that. <laughs> ECM is still on a comfortable sub two hour pace, which is still a pretty good run in the grand yeah. scheme of things. <laughs> and, you know, we have a yeah, we have a weekly race every Saturday at three Eastern. In that race, most people do not sub two. Yeah. Actually, actually, everyone who finished last week got a sub two. I'm pretty sure. Really? Or no, I think no, 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 no. But it was like 80, 80 plus people that actually got sub two, which is insane. Nice. <laughs> was it was a friendly seed though, wasn't it? Uh, relatively. Yeah. <laughs> First place getting a 124 is friendly, but not super friendly to where that many people would get us up to. Yeah, I guess the overall skill level of the of the players is increasing. Yeah. Pretty soon everybody's gonna be an expert at randomizer. <laughs> I think more of them will have to have to start running an MG if they want to get as good as, as these rights. guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think acm has gotten lost in this maze. Yep. Found his way back to the start though, so from there he should have a easier time regaining his bearings. Oh, don't step on the switch again. I think he stepped on it twice. Okay. Forgetting, forgetting that he had already done it. <laughs> right. Well, I hope this, uh, hope this door is open. And it is.
ACM's also going to be entering Trinex at low hearts. <laughs> no, probably still with a fairy. I think that's what we uh, agreed on earlier. ACM always fights Trinex from the front. It's a safe way to do it. Yep. Not really very much slower with the gold sword. Really slower at all with tempered sword. <laughs> Seems like with the tempered sword, though, if you, if you do it from behind, you have less of a chance to get ice on the floor. But maybe that's just me. That's probably true. So, is ACM going to do anything silly in Ganon's Tower? Like tile room first, <laughs> <laughs> just to not open it and place a bomb next to it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. I think with Chris getting a relatively okay time with how the intro went, ACM might think the big key's early, but who knows? Maybe. I don't think he really. I don't. He probably doesn't care. care. <laughs> yeah. ECM's kind of already gotten spoilers for how bad Chris's for, uh, early game was, too, by their conversation on the race channel. <laughs> yeah. ECM's having a whole conversation while also playing something he's actually <laughs> known for. Yeah. Yeah, once, he once gets you, his, you play this game long enough, you can kind of just turn your brain off and <laughs> just go through the motions. Yeah, you see him gets his uh, computer program to run the game while he <laughs> while he types and chats. Maybe he has a voice to text program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess the only real question now is: Will ACM have enough bombs to finish this dungeon? <laughs> At least there's two bombs under the two pots in the room where you actually need them. But is it going to be enough? <laughs> <laughs> there are two chests in there, so that's a good question. <laughs> I think he'll do something special with the validation chest. Maybe I'll try to hover. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. <laughs> Maybe he'll turn on OOB mode and just walk across. The <laughs> <laughs> take his uh, take his game out and. Put in the back of the Yeah. Patch in debug codes real quick. Ooh, the Robin Hood strat actually worked. Sam likes to throw a lot of arrows <laughs> in his online. Don't always yeah. work and they do add a lot of lag. So it's not a very common strategy to see among high level players. Is. Why not? <laughs> Did he just bow dash up the stairs? He's gonna get trapped. 
He's gonna get sucked back down. Okay, he was able to fire the arrow in time. <laughs> you want to learn more about item dashing? We got the super special too. This is our shameless plug time. <laughs> When will your out of bounds tutorials be coming? Oh man, that was they're in in progress. <laughs> it's taking a lot of time to even write down all the stuff I want to cover, and then recording them is going to take take a while. They're going to be like an hour long each. Yeah, our current glitch mode in the randomizer is pretty uh, not beginner friendly at all. So. <laughs> That's, that's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're coming out with a, with a new different one. It'll, it's basically it'll be, maybe glitched. Yeah. We don't have to make it sound we so... Way to sell it, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it's still using major glitches, just only basic ones. Right. Yeah. So it's to, to ease people in. Yeah, it's like an intermediate glitches mode. And that will be introduced uh, fairly shortly. Hopefully I'll be able to get my uh, my tutorials done that will pretty much explain uh, everything that you need to know for the for that uh, logic mode. Um, if not before it comes out, then shortly afterwards. If you want any help recording stuff, I can do that too. Mm -hmm. Pop in my input display. Ooh, you want to just make the tutorial for me? <laughs> you tell me what to record, and you can just you can just use your your silky smooth voiceover. Oh yeah, my bedtime story voice. <laughs> <laughs> Bug net fight. It's a nice one. Oh my god, I didn't know you could use the bug net on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> we actually use that in swordless speedrun, Sketch. Yeah. <laughs> they actually, they actually routed the old uh, swordless route. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not a, a valid run for the modern rule set because I got the sword. So, <laughs> yeah. Know. Sword and swordless. I know, right? <laughs> Those were a crazy <laughs> time, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and we run out of bombs on the Ganon hole. Oh man, I hope that's not going to cause any problems for me. <laughs> <laughs> Was well, that six? I'm uh, sure he can count. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay, good. It was. I mean, he's a robot. He knows his integers. Glitch. Gonna get probably a double there. Maybe a triple. Oh, nice. Yeah, triple. Very cool. Oh, he's gonna do uh, something fancy here. Well, actually, I don't think he is. I think the timing was a little bit off for the for the swag. <laughs> oh, there we go. The moonwalk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm I'm a little <laughs> disappointed we didn't get the the diagonal moonwalk. <laughs> GG's to ACM finishes with a 148.50 SRL time. Today we learned that robots can get salty. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> he looks like he's put the, the mathematical formula for how to, to treat uh, robot salt in the race channel there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
It is actually not in a plus CL, which is shocking. <laughs> Gotta throw a little metal in there. <laughs> Oh, that's an unfortunate loss. It's a little painful. It's going to be really, uh, I mean, that's that's probably really uh, disappointing for him. Um, and it's a little painful to watch, too, you know. But he did finish up the race. He's a good sportsman, always. Um, I don't know if we have anything else coming up on this channel after this. I need to find the link to the schedule. Let's take a look. Uh, Donkey Kong Country starting at nine so that'll okay. be coming up right after this right after this well it's going to be christos owen and ajneb in the uh in the finals for the randomizer tournament those races will be scheduled uh pretty soon i imagine and you guys will of course not be uh withheld from that information uh anyway i think that'll just about do it for us today congratulations again christos owen and uh Good luck to both of them in the finals in the third place match. My name is Super Scudge. I'm Andy. And I am Josh, or X Release. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we will see you soon. Adios, everybody.